Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finale of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, who's not actually murdered. I want my money back. False advertising (laughs) bullshit. They didn't charge for this. Just to make sure that Lewis can't change it. Again, you could have tacked the last 10 seconds of the last part onto this part. Now he's really shocked that it can't fix it in the edit. Fuck you. (sighs) Thanks, Gareth. What if you do some, like, timey-wimey shit? If you start at the beginning of this part with the end of the last part, it works. It would have if Gareth hadn't blown the whole thing wide open. Yeah, but, you know, that's the magic of post-editing. You can just fucking censor out whatever you're saying. I mean, I could. In fact, if you're really committed, you can take bits and pieces of different words from different sentences and rearrange them to form a new sentence and put Gareth in hot water. I mean, Wow, Lewis, this edit tape <laughs> is really good. <laughs> I love okay, AI Gareth. Gareth actually said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or so, for For... For not being featured in this visual novel very much, the interactions with Sonic toward the end are really nice. Yeah. He's basically, like, perfectly in character here. Yeah, Sonic's characterization is in, this, uh, in this story is really good. I would say everyone is pretty much on point. Yeah, the writing here is Like, I was good. expecting it, of course, but I, I was kind of hoping, like, the like a major cause for everything happening was not Eggman. Oh, I, I fully expected the conductor to be Eggman in, in disguise. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was I thought that was the twist in this game. Well, like the thing I was always thinking was like Eggman's involved in this somehow. I just don't know what yet. You see, it never. Like, even and to be fair, to like to be him. like to be fair, like I didn't expect the whole train to be a bad neck. What if what if it, what if, if what if if just to really make no sense be somewhat of a deep cut and drive people like David the Lurker insane with the fact that this is canon. What if this was Razor Jin? Just to, just to be like, fuck you, man. You figure it out how this makes any sense. Well, You blue rat, I'm going to use this train to get me my storybook back. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go home. You know, I've had enough Buddy, of this. I, fucking tor- I don't know what to tell you, but I torched that book I, for firewood years ago. Like, I turned you into tissues. What's going on here? <laughs> Every single one of those tissues was a page from that book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Arabian Nights. You know, it's funny because I do still have some attachment to the storybook games. I just can't go back and actually play them. Same, actually. I can, um, do, I can play Black Knight because I have a brain. No. <laughs> Fuck you, fuck Wait, you, I can't, I can't, because I also have a brain. <laughs> Black Knight is the less janky, janky one, but they're both jank, so... It... Yeah, I think, well, I think legit Black Knight has a really good story. I just don't, you know, fuck with everything else. Again, Sonic's like, okay, Sonic, Sonic's literally told to save the day, you're gonna murder this guy. And he's like, sure, whatever, shits and giggles, let's go, boys. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I still maintain that Sonic and the Secret Rings is a great Sonic Shuffle 2. <laughs> oh, because of the party mode. Right, right, yeah. right. I was I was about to like fucking turn the cogs there for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's still a party multiplayer yeah. thing, you know. The multiplayer didn't put me to sleep like the Sonic Shuffle did. Um, or I'm pretty sure Nathan literally passed out. But damn. We hey, man, you won't find better sleep aid. Uh. <laughs> no, because again, Johnny, I think was it after Sonic Boom 14 when you in in, in our whole Fuck, they room, made 13 of those fucking I things. I know, right? No, but like <laughs> the New York event, we played we played Shuffle in my hotel room, and I think that's right. I think one of the people did legit pass out while we were playing yeah. it. I think I think my buddy Jonathan passed out while we were playing. Okay, can we just appreciate the fact that we got a full sprite version of Sonic in costume? For yes, this? he's got his hat. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I also, I also want to say, like, that, like the whole, the, the whole game soundtrack's really good. But like, up until this point, nothing really sounds Sonicy. But the music that plays when Sonic's like, dude, who is playing this sucks. Whatever, but, but, like the music that plays when <laughs> Sonic's like, let's let's go. It it actually includes a little remix of SA One. It doesn't matter, and it's really quite nice. No, it's actually the SA2 version. I thought it was SA1. No, SA2 because it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah That's SA2 cause... version. Can I just call attention to the fact that apparently someone installed spikes all over the road right next to this train track? 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who's throwing axes? Honestly, considering well, the Sonic they're, they're, universe, they're, they're that's sure actually not surprising, even a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like in um, Rooftop Run Generations. Why are all these guillotines for? It's like, do you want to drive to LA? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you're taking the train. Uh, you see, like, I understand like when you're trying to interrogate uh, interrogate Espio, like, the, the shuriken obstacles make sense, but the game's over, so someone tell Espio to stop fucking throwing shurikens at <laughs> No, you. you know, maybe maybe the train just had a supply of shurikens for Espio, and it's using, oh, what is the train have and it's using the surplus, you know, for the authenticity of the, of the mystery game. <laughs> because everyone knows mystery games involve... Ninja throwing the stars and spike heads. Or the good ones do, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, though, I, I do... While I, I think we said in the earlier part, I do wish the final phase of this was maybe a different type of mini game. I do like the fact that instead of just the guy playing his game, this is actually Sonic doing it. Even though the train cars are not this long. So I don't know what he's really doing. But <laughs> no, no, like... He's on a tre- he's on he's uh, wearing an AR set on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> the exercising of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go. <laughs> Shadow, why aren't you helping? <laughs> you got locked up. You're a bit. I have to wait to buy tickets. All right, Sonic, <laughs> do this yourself. I like that AR set on a treadmill thing. Just made me think of that Wii game, Ring Fit. <laughs> For some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one you can never Green buy because adventure. it's super expensive and never in the stores. I'm just now imagining Shadow trying to buy Taylor Swift tickets um, and sniping <laughs> some teenage girl's tickets on on eBay and being like, yes. No, that's sniping. Holding her at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Decline the, the is, sale. But the thing is, he, he could just chaos control inside the concert hall. He doesn't even need to pay money for it. Uh, do you want to mess with Taylor Swift's security? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I may be. I like. That. I may be insane enough to conquer the world, but Taylor Swift's security. <laughs> no, I may. Thank I you. may. Fi- yeah, I may fight Batman, but Taylor Swift fans. <laughs> no, thank you. I like that line at the end where he says, "And probably another Death Egg." <laughs> Just like yeah. he throws that in at the end. Yes. <laughs> uh yeah, so the thing about this is it's not just a matter of the entire train being a bag, Nick. This thing was built by Eggman some time ago, like a long time ago, actually. And over the course of it, like sharing all these journeys with the conductor, it grew feelings for the conductor. And knowing that the conductor plans on retiring, the train can't process that and goes nuts. It's basically Wally. It's the end of Wally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief! But I, I will say oh, this. This music track is awesome. I, this, this is like a real. This would fit in a like in a regular Sonic game. I think this track yeah. is real good. I can go for it uh, right in the Superstars. I feel yeah. it would be better than most of the Superstars soundtrack. <laughs> sure, but yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll save my extended thoughts on the Superstars soundtrack for the actual Superstars commentary. I'm not in that, gonna be in the LP, so I'm just gonna talk about Superstars to the rest of the, the LP. So, Superstars is a game. <laughs> I think the stages are uh, mostly fine. True, uh, that is true. Superstars is indeed a game. Uh, you know, I can't help but think that a lot of the problems it has are problems that people would be more forgiving of in any other series. But, you uh, know. Y- you're saying the Sonic oh, yeah. fan base is picky? No. <laughs> no, you know, Lewis, I will go. I will go one. I will go one step further. I'm not. I'm not trying to say that Superstars is a perfect game by any means. I also think it is. It is sixty dollars for what it is. It is too expensive. Yeah. I think if I think if Taxman if Taxman's team had made Superstars and it was the exact same game, I genuinely think there was there was a there was a certain subsect of Sonic fans that just hate Sonic Team and Sega who would be giving it praise. Yeah, I think honestly, <laughs> I think the main reason it's sixty dollars is because you know the price point at which you put a game is going to uh, is, is is in part seen as a measure of your own confidence in the product. So yeah, by by putting it at full price, they're 60. saying, yeah. The what's uh, worth sixty dollars thing is also kind of a loaded topic because like Mario Wonder came out the same week, and I played and loved that game, and I would say that's worth sixty dollars. 
but I have no problem paying sixty dollars for a two D platformer. And for me, so that I, I think the the length of Superstars is perfectly fine. I just think there is a level of if you're going to charge me full price, I think I currently and, and I'm sure it'll be patched at some point. There are too many like glitches and and optimization problems with Superstars that I feel should have been worked to have been fixed before being released at full price. Yeah, I, that's that's a thing. The thing is, um, it feels like it's missing a few QA patches, and I have a suspicion yes. that even the inconsistent soundtrack is a casualty of that issue, because it it legitimately seems like some of the tracks were supposed to get rearrangements, like the good tracks did, yeah. and they just yeah. didn't have time or something. Is the train the final boss? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. The I, train's the cul the train's the culprit. I wish this was like you attacked him. I wish this was more like a battle rather than just another slightly harder race segment. You know? Yeah. I mean, aren't you actively like once you catch up to them, don't you like, actively like jump on them? Or some nope. of shit? I might be misremembering that. Well, like maybe in the game, but like you, you, yeah. you yourself don't. Like Sonic does that. But, yeah. Like, you, I wish you. Yeah. I wish you could manually attack it. <laughs> yeah. Give me a homing attack button, damn it. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, I find it weird that there's a flicky inside, and it, thus the implication is that it's been in there for like 30 years. The flicky <laughs> is, has been running on a hamster wheel to power this train for 30 years. Please kill me. Doc. Like, Doc I'm trying to. You got to stall. You got to hold still, though. For the love of God, can, can, you, can you get one other flicky in here? Like, no. What is enough? <laughs> You see the the in this economy the dedication to lore <laughs> is really really heartwarming to see because just like in an, in a normal Sonic game, uh, all Sonic's friends just stand there and watch while Sonic does all the work. Um, so <laughs> that looks like a train. That looks like a train. That looks like a train. <laughs> oh no! Not enough rings. I love that oh, webcomic. I guess Sonic dies in the end. Well, it does. John, did you read the title? <laughs> oh, these actually do get pretty tough. How many rings do you lose if you get hit? Five. Uh, that was five there. I, I think it doesn't vary. I think it's always five. And so Sonic died the way he lived, chasing a backwards driving train. <laughs> a backwards driving train that's capable of jumping from one train track to another. <laughs> Multi-track drifting. <laughs> Deja vu. You know, game over, yeah. You'd think trains would be more <laughs> commonplace in the Sonic uh, series, given how many rails there are just randomly hanging around. Hey, no, no, it's going to do that, though. It sucks. It's based off America. There's no trains here. This country oh, sucks good, for public transportation. Good point. Well made. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> kind of does, yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll, they've made I mean, it such a car focused uh, transit system that even though there's literal loop de loops on the highways uh, and spike balls everywhere, <laughs> people would still rather do that than drive the train. Man. Well, I mean, m the area of New Jersey that I live in has the light rail, which, uh, depending on who you ask, is either a really good infrastructure thing or a waste of taxpayer money. Uh, guess who says it's a waste of taxpayer money? <laughs> but uh yeah no this west is at its lowest what <laughs> nothing you are a waste of taxpayer money <laughs> now you can do the light rail dash I'm gonna save that <laughs> zinger for the next republican I meet anyway <laughs> hold the B button to charge up a, uh, a, a charge and then touch the third rail <laughs> Fucking no, do it. No, touch the third row to get charged, then do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last one. Here comes two. <laughs> you know, Sonic can very clearly run faster than this. He's jogging right now. He doesn't want to ruin the hat. He is, to be fair, he, he did get he did literally get poisoned a little bit ago. He's probably still a bit rusty. <laughs> he got tranked. <laughs> like, I think he's just trying to run it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eggman could have just actually have killed Sonic if he just told SBO it was non-poisonous. And then well, Eggman, Eggman didn't do this. The train did. The train is trying to get yeah. is is trying to like prove itself to Eggman, so Eggman will give him will give it what it wants. It thinks Eggman can get the conductor to stay with the train. Um, okay, Eggman, why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> <laughs> I like how 
<laughs> Amy gets the killing blow. Well, it is her birthday. Makes sense. Although, <laughs> considering we just re removed the train's power source, it was kind of a, you know, just a... <laughs> no, this is to make sure the train never hurts anybody again. Unfortunately, no one told Amy there are still passengers on the train. <laughs> Sasha's like, no, my microwave! <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I'm good for. Ah, I my, need to find a new job. Chicken cold old yeah, it seems like a happy ending, but now Sauce is out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been working on this train long enough to get unemployment yet. This is a problem. <laughs> yeah, he goes, um, am I still going to get paid for today's work? <laughs> <laughs> Conduct is like, conduct you'll is get like, it when you leave. Yeah, conduct is like, um, what train? Look over there and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to sign my W-2. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Do you think health insurance is a thing people have to go through in Sonic's world? I mean, if you're holding a <laughs> ring, you're only fine. In certain parts of the, only in certain parts of the world. <laughs> only, on the, only on the human islands. <laughs> <laughs> only in Westopolis. The, the animals are like, fucking idiots. They're going to pay for this shit. <laughs> We saved the city. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ, how fast were you going, Sonic? Well, I tell you, but the speedometer's melted. Vector couldn't have taken off his headphones and chain to be more like a butcher. Come on, Vector, <laughs> step it up, my friend. No, oh, come on. Like, you're you telling me you never worked a nine to five and actually slipped into some headphones? About <laughs> 10 years ago, Charmy B played a little prank on Vector C. He secretly put some super glue into the ear headphones ear pieces and uh, Vector has been too embarrassed ever since to admit that Charmy got him, so he's just never taken them off. I'm not surprised that Charmy wasn't invited to this birthday party, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. I'm just gonna say it. Conductor's wife's a kooka. Like, we were all fucking thinking it. <laughs> we're all thinking it. Look at that picture. Like, that. Well, I, I, did, I, I, did, I, 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 I made the quick jab in my video. I call it, like, the conductor's hot milf wife. Yep. Well, we don't we don't know if they have children. So I, that's why I went for kooka. <laughs> One of the chow on the... Is still wearing the Marco Groucho yeah, glasses. The butt, yeah, yeah, still, chow yeah, mission they're, they're of quarters. Like, someone's got someone's to pay for this train, guys. Wait. Like... I think I think that child's on the run. The mayor's <laughs> up my ass about this, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so th there's a line earlier where Amy says that neither Sonic or Shadow got her a gift, and we know that Shadow got is getting those tickets. So if the train hadn't crashed and Sonic hadn't gone to run to the bakery, he would have literally turned up empty-handed. What a joke. I'm, I'm more impressed <laughs> that the station has a bakery capable of putting someone's picture on a cake. No, 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 you, you get one, uh, aren't there, like, special printers? That Oh, wait, shit, the printer doesn't work. <laughs> We've been over the printer uh, on the train's broken, Johnny. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, but seriously, though, isn't there, like, special printers that like, print out graphics that you can just lay on a cake? Yeah. yeah. Like after you can some get preparation, you want printed on a cake. I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, Jenny, technically, you could print out paper and put it on a cake and eat the paper. That, ch <laughs> that ch speaking, you could do that. <laughs> that Chow really likes the Marco Groucho glasses. <laughs> it's just like he got up it's, front and center in the last picture to make sure you. This saw This is him. the greatest screen ever. <laughs> How much do you want to bet that the shirt was Sage's idea? Oh my god, I just love Sage and Men in those matching Let's Go. Like, that is fucking <laughs> perfection. And they referenced the duck things they sold as well. There's this, this cross promotion bullshit. Look at this game. <laughs> this is actually, this is also the first time we got to see um, Orbot, Cubot, and Sage in the same place. Nice little yep. payoff to, I think Sage mentions them in the comic. I think. Yes. Is it the comic? No, not the I think no. I want to say no. no um, in, in, Eggman in, 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 mentioned Eggman mentions them in a in a in a, oh, in a cut Eggman scene, yeah. cutscene in Frontiers. And, and Sage, yeah. asks Sage, if Sage like also brothers. flat out yes. Yeah, Sage yeah. also flat out asks Eggman if Orbot and Cubot are her brothers, and he goes yeah. he goes I don't what the fuck are we talking about? Are we <laughs> <laughs> asking, stop. What are we talking about? Orbot Have you been Cubot? on Facebook again? <laughs> no, his name his name is Sa Five Five from Unleashed. You're going to your room, little girl. <laughs> uh, whatever that happened was... at the first generation Orbot, anyway? He died. 
<laughs> just end the OP there. Just what happened to him? He died. Uh, this was certainly a video game. Um, it's a fun little. It's a fun little visual novel. It takes maybe like an hour to play through. It's yeah. It's great. I mean, I. I I finished, I streamed this like two days ago to get the whole thing before this thing. And it's like, I loved playing it. I enjoyed it. I don't see myself coming back to it, maybe for like a couple no. of years. But like, I, I am I am so glad I played it. And I think, I, this is going to sound sappy. I genuinely think the world and this fan base is a better place for having this game being made. <laughs> I think it's that great. It's amazing. Look, just a, a little bit of lighthearted fun without any controversy is a fre breath of fresh air for this game, uh, for this franchise and fan base and all of that. Why did I say for this game? My words are failing me. I was so confused to see Tony Harnell, like, thanked in the special. F I, I know, like, that they play a bit of, like, it doesn't matter, but, like, he didn't come up with that. Like, why? Why is he fighting this? this, this is so weird. You can thank whoever you want. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, this was a thing, a very good thing, but a thing. That's it. This is only a part. Of, this is only the beginning, though, because we will Bouncer be following up with a Sonic Superstars commentary. Bouncer Chow and director of brand. Also, there's a director of lore in this game. And an associate manager. Oh boy. Do not envy that fucking dude. Well, it's great because, like, they've said, you know, because on, on the Bumble cast, Ian Flynn always talks about, like, the law team, which I know it involves, like, him. I want to say Evan Stanley, Tyson Hess, maybe, might be involved. But, like, it's. It's always crazy to me because, like, he'll, he'll be asked questions on his on his podcast, on, like, the Bumble cast, and he'll be like, you know what? I don't know. That's something to bring up with the law team. I'm like, just get, just get everyone in one room for, like, a day. And be like, is there money in this universe? Because sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't. Like, this the problem is that they, they, they set themselves up in that corner, though, because I think like, there, there was one time they someone in the the PR team tweeted in the account, everything is canon. I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> that was Aaron Weber. That man was a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. Right. How can we stretch this out for another minute? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> We've said all that needs to be said. There's nothing more to say. <laughs> but we're contractually obligated to ourselves. When's to, the murder um, of brain scratch commentaries? Oh, the next, uh, the next time I'm at the same convention as you guys. Okay. I mean, yeah. what? <laughs> well, at least it won't be a very long mystery. I'll be like, it was me, Governor. I did it. <laughs> and, and they'll throw me a parade for doing it, everyone. Take them away, boys. Okay, they're taking them away to, to the fucking... Take them away, toys. What? Do what the kid says. <laughs> At least wait for us to hit 100k first. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna that's, that, that, that's pathetic. I'm going to wait <laughs> until I'm gonna wait you guys are at 99.9. Then I'm going to do it. You only ever well, so truly was... get big after you go pass on anyway, so you know. Exactly. So, True. right, I'll, I'll help you guys get to 100k by slaughtering you Bi all live. Wait, <laughs> hang on. Big the cat the dog? Yep, I know, right? What? 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 So, just so just, just to, to let the fans know, so you guys are doing Superstars next. Are you Have you have you guys done um, DLC 3 for Frontiers yet? For Frontiers? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. We don't need a commentary. I volunteered don't, don't to jack off at the end of a commentary. That's just poor form. <laughs> I vol no. I volunteered to record that before I knew what I was getting into. And now that I know what I'm what oh. I'm getting into, I don't want to do it anymore. Just just set it to just set it to easy and go from there. That's what I did. <laughs> easy only affects the combat. It's not the combat that I have a problem with. <laughs> No, easy also makes getting the towers quicker because they put the, they just put um, homing pads everywhere so you can get up the towers with no absolute no problem. Now, aren't the towers in the main game though? No, and and DLC three, there's four more towers to go up. Oh, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Get on that, Clement. <laughs> I don't do LPs anymore. 
Yeah, I, I was don't care. Say, I don't care about the history of bad you game over. Pulling me back into this bullshit. I left for a fucking reason. Yeah, Clement here is one day away show. from retirement, and you're trying to bring him back in on the job. <laughs> yeah, Clement, record, record LP footage for a channel you have no financial gain in. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Jeez, don't I say enough in these videos? God. <laughs> uh, weren't we just complaining that we didn't have enough to say yeah no. i know i know hold well, on hold on guys we take him in by the ago. word we have to cut him off again <laughs> <laughs> don't worry clement i won't be in superstar so you have a chance to speak then i told the rest of you goodbye no they're gonna go on that some diatribe day, about some fan game in the comic and i'll never get a word in <laughs> 